Plato still in the play just before it ends, Oedipus, the blind, now homeless exile, makes this plea with the new king, Creon, his uh, erstwhile brother-in-law. I, and now I lay this charge before you, and I urge you on, raise up whatever burial mound you wish for her who is inside, or your own kin. That's the queen, Jocasta, who has murdered herself upon the revelation of the truth. And now I lay this charge before you, and I urge you on, raise up whatever burial mound you wish for her who is inside, for your own kin, fulfill her final rites, and may this, my father's city, never be condemned to harbor me inhabitant while I live. But let me dwell in the mountains where my Kithiron is famous. That my mother and my father chose for my appointed tomb. Mount Kithiron is the desert wasteland upon whose slopes the young Queen Jocasta and King Laius exposed the infant Oedipus with a little stake driven through his ankles that he might perish without them, guilty of his death in a fully direct way. This was the custom of infanticide in the ancient world, a fairly widespread thing, Mount Kithiron. And may this my father's city never be condemned to harbor me and have it while I live, but let me dwell in the mountains where my Kithiron is famous, that my mother and my father chose for my appointed tomb so that I may die the way they wanted, those two who planned to kill me. And yet, this much I know. I will not die from sickness, or any other cause of such a sort. For I would not have been saved thus far from death, unless it were for some enormous sorrow. But, let our fate come on, whatever it be. For my male children, Creon, do not mind them. They are men now. And they shall not starve wherever they may go while their lives last. But my poor, pitiable maiden daughters, who have never sat at the supper table without me there, who have shared in all I have ever touched, take care of them for me. But first, let me embrace them and weep our fill. Come, my lord, come, high-born noblemen. If I could touch them with my hands, it would seem to me as though I had them still, as I did when I could see. What have I said? Or can it be that somehow, by the gods, I hear my daughters weeping, and Creon, out of pity, sends me my darlings? Have I spoken truly? <laughs>